It's a great day for hockey cards, and today we're going to break into the mailbag. Standard mailbag disclaimer, I promise I'll never sing again. Actually, I don't promise that. I probably will. Uh, standard, uh, standard disclaimer, I put on all the mail videos. I have tons of mail right now. Thank you to everybody who sent me anything. I will get to it. I'm kind of taking them. I uh, have a box full of stuff. Kind of get... Get, getting through it as best I can. If you ever want to send something, there's a uh, my PO box is in the description, so check that out. Uh, so this first one is from Sean. I don't know what's in any of these. I think one of these might have been a trade I made a while ago, though, because, well, as I mentioned, everything is super far behind. There is a note here. Let me just make sure there's nothing... Do, 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 do. <clears throat> All right, here we go. From Edmonton to Pittsburgh. It's a great day for hockey cards. Thanks for sharing of your passion to the hobby because it's such a costly collection. I sometimes observe shows like yours to see what other Easter eggs are possible to get. And that's actually one of the goals I've kind of switched to in the channel is I'm really looking at a lot of stuff that I haven't opened. I've bought a lot of uh, vintage stuff or older stuff. I would love to eventually open a box of everything ever released. I'm sure that won't happen. That is a super long-term goal, but let's get back to the letter. I sent you a few cards, pretty much penguins, which I appreciate. You may have them already, and I decided to send them anyway, just to keep the fun rolling. The penguins cards I, the penguin cards I didn't send, which is mean, which is mean of me. <laughs> Nothing is mean. You don't have to send anything. That you probably would have needed in your collection are Sidney Crosby, Ultra Fleer Rookie. That's a good one. Teddy Bluger, Future Watch Auto. I have one of those, but it's awesome. John Marino, Future Watch Auto. Don't have one of those. And a Sidney Crosby All-Star Update card from SP Authentic. I don't know if I have that. High Gloss 1 of 10. That's amazing. I'm contemplating getting them graded and then selling for a million bucks each. Well, I hope you get exactly what you want for that. Keep up the good work. I hope your collection gets fulfilled as you see fit. Good luck. Oh, and there definitely is a black and yellow card that will sure turn heads, and all non-Penguin teams will know why. It's a great day for hockey teams. From Sean. P.S. If you ever do any more box wars, I hope you don't lose any one of ones. Yeah, those are really early on in the channel's history, and I've actually talked to Fred about doing more of those, and... Um, we are going to do more. I just need to figure out a better way. I didn't like the presentation last time, so we're going to figure out a way to do that. Uh, so here we go. We have three packs. There's an open first. Open last. Notice he put the platinum last because he knows I love platinum, I'm sure. Um, open first. You may hear my cat meow in the background. She's outside my office door begging to get in. <laughs> Oh, these are sealed up. These are almost like they're... Oh, there we go. I was going to say it's almost like they're brand new. Okay. Oh, I don't want to wanna damage anything, so we're going to scissors that guy. We're going to cut that guy. You're not actually scissoring anything. So let's see what we got. we got some good stuff already. Sidney Crosby from 1516 Portrait. That is awesome. Sam Lafferty. They're projecting him to take a spot, full-time spot on the roster this year. Really fast skater for the Pens. Daniel Sprong. Traded him away. I thought he had a lot of uh, potential. See if he can do anything elsewhere in the NHL. There's super goalie, Marc-Andre Fleury. Still with Vegas. Ryan Malone, Bugsy. Oh, there's 66. That is part of my PC, and this one will go there. I actually forgot about these jerseys where they were kind of in between their Vegas gold, uh, which is this color here, and um, using the regular Penguin logo. Jimmy Neal. Oh, this one there. Hey, there's a Tim Horton card from Tim Hortons. This is Gino Malkin from Tim Hortons. I, I like almost every year of Tim Hortons. Winter Storm Morning Gino. Very nice. I'm liking that. I should probably pick up some more lore. I, I really like that set. There's a draft board of Sidney Crosby. What is the ring he is wearing there? It's big. It almost looks like a Stanley Cup ring. Chris Letang from Timmy's. We've got Gino Malkin, also from Timmy's. This is 
17, 18 Timmies. I don't have any of that. Phil Castle, also from Tim's. That's a really good pack. I wish I got more packs like that. Uh, open second. I'm going to go there next. These are really thick packs, too. 1920 upper deck is, is stacked, apparently. Okay. Once again, I don't want to damage anything, so I'm going to cut it open. Great job resealing these, Sean. I'll tell you that. It looks like a whole nother batch of penguins. Wow. Oop, stuck to that one. All right, let's see what we got here. Gino Malkin from Platinum. The retro card. Mackenzie Blackwood. That's, that's almost the same exact photo. I don't know if you did that intentionally, but uh, crazy. Super goalie from Full Force. I like the Full Force cards. It's, it's a shame they only lasted for a year. Sidney Crosby from Full Force. Patrick Hornquist from Full Force. Going to miss him this year. He's always fun to watch. If you're a Florida fan, definitely pay attention to that guy. Gino Malkin. Got Crosby from Allure. And we've got a gold etchings of Sidney Crosby. Get another Tim Hortons. Oh, Gino, I love this. These are my favorite UD game jersey. This is the best design they, they've done so far, I think. Sidney Crosby net magnets, and we've got a top 100 of Sidney Crosby from Tim Hortons. Then they, they, Evgeny Malkin, if you're not a Penguins fan, Around here, they call him Mr. 101. It's kind of an informal nickname because he got left off that list and uh, viewed it as quite the slight. Tons of good players. I don't even know how you would go about making a list like that because you're going to leave somebody off. They're going to get mad. Oh, yeah. Boom, I love it. A little Captain Kirk action. That's fantastic. I thought about actually opening a box of Star Trek cards on the channel. I haven't I haven't worked up the courage to do it because I'm pretty sure I'll get slammed by a lot of people for doing that. But uh, I might do it anyway. Art Ross Trophy. What is that from? That is an older OPG. I don't know what year that is. If you know what year that is, let me know in the comments. Jeff Sackoff. Really cool photo. Oh, there we go. Teddy Hockey. Love it. Brian Rust. If we cover up his beard, you can see just the rustache. Chris Letang. Got another tanger. I thank you for these because I just started PCing Letang and I don't have a lot of stuff for him yet. So pretty much everything I get I don't have. Carl Haglin, I love that photo. There's another tanger canvas. Sid the Adult. Phil Kessel Retro. Oh, yeah. Sergey Plotnikov. This is one I don't have. The Flare Metal. Sergey, that's going in the Plotnikov PC. Trevor Daly. He was great while the Penguins had him. Matt Murray, UD Portraits. <laughs> Family friendly channel. Sandy Crosby. That is, uh, I don't. Make sure there's nothing bad on the back of this. This is a bench warmer card. Don't know. Uh, don't know what benchwarmer.com is. It's black and gold, all right. But, uh, thank you for that. Those are some great cards, Sean. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I will sort through these and sleeve them up in a bit. Let's go on to the next one for Mike Silva da Costa. And this package is from the Netherlands. So, very excited to show this off. So, first one was from Edmonton. All right, we've got a big bunch of wrap stuff here. Let me make sure nothing too personal is on the note. 
Okay. So this is from Mike, who is Freedom Sufferer in the in the comments. Uh, we've been going back and forth on email, and uh, he comments on a lot of videos. So it's really cool to get a package from him. Hey, Doug, Mike here. As a Canadian living in the Netherlands, I've had a hard time getting my hockey fix, especially when it comes to cards. Your videos have finally scratched that itch. You are quite welcome. After watching your videos, I had two boxes sent to me from back in Canada, one Blaster Series 1 and a Blaster Series 2, both from 1920. He pulled a Jumbo Jack Hughes and a Kale McCarr Young Gun. That is fantastic. I credit that to you. Don't credit me. Credit whoever sent you those boxes. Uh, I'm just curious, and if you watch this, Mike, how much does it cost to ship a box to the Netherlands? Anyway, knowing that you're a Pens fan, I've decided to send you some of my old PC Pens cards. I know you will give them a good home. No stars or anything, but they're definitely cool. I appreciate all of them. I hope you enjoy them. As a least fan, I have nothing but respect for your team. 1967 and counting. So if you don't know, and you may not, because we have some younger fans watch, watch the channel, um, 1967 is the last time the Leafs won the Cup. So they're one of the longer-suffering NHL fan bases. Uh, thanks again for the time you put into the videos and in replying to messages. I appreciate the efforts, friendship, and the escape from life's relentless pace to your peaceful and informative channel. All the best, Mike, a.k.a. Freedom Suffering. Well, that was a really nice note, Mike. Thank you very much for that. Um, I have some friends that live in the Toronto area, and I gotta tell you, I, I really loved the Maple Leafs when I was growing up. I didn't get to see many of their games but Dougie Gilmore and Matt Sundin were two of my favorite players like of all time but where I lived I didn't have a lot of access to get to watch them very often um they don't replace the pens for me but uh they're definitely one of the cards that or one of the cards one of the teams that uh, I looked up to when when I was younger and, and watching so let's uh okay so these are in sleeves so we're gonna unsleeve them here multiple okay so we've got autos which is fantastic there's michael civic i remember watching him a card from the wooksbury penguins and that is autographed i don't it's hard to see but it is signed so that is super awesome randy robitaille also autoed very cool what is this from from pacific I don't recognize this card design, which is why I ask. They did a really good job of making it look like an upper deck card. <laughs> really cool. All right, we got a couple here. Get these out. These are all autos. This is amazing. So here is Johan Hedberg, the moose, who led the Penguins on a really great uh, run in the playoffs and then became their starting goaltender. Lots of fond memories of watching him. J.S. Albain, the blue auto there. That is fantastic. Yeah, me and my friends used to call him Aubin Pain just because we didn't, we didn't, we, we weren't very creative. <laughs> All right, oh, this one's stuck together, but we've got, oh, there's two in here. There's two in everywhere. Wow, thank you, Mike, for all these. We've got Ryan Malone auto, Bugsy Malone. That is from 0506 Upper Deck. I really like the uh, design on those cards. Just the base design just looks looks really great. Konstantin Koltsov. So this is a great one. I will definitely show Fred this one because we are... Um... So this was from an era of Penguins where they had a bunch of really young, hungry guys that just didn't have enough skill to win a lot of hockey games. But you'd love to watch them because of the passion they showed for the game. Koltsov, super fast. Um, hands of stone, man. <laughs> that's, that's all I can remember about him, unless I'm thinking of someone else. But uh, it was fun to watch. Those teams were actually fun to watch, even though they lost a whole lot. You can, you always have to have to win to, as long as your team's putting out a good effort and they're being entertaining. I'm happy with that. There is, I can't read the name on that. Jeff Taffy. I don't remember him. I do not. Maybe he was on the pens. I'm guessing he was because this is most of this stuff. But uh, wearing one of the most awesome jerseys ever. The Coyotes are, they're, Reverse Retro this year is just, in my opinion, the best one. Even better than the Avalanche Nordique one. Go Coyotes. 
desert hockey breaks, you got to pick up one of them jerseys. Shane Endicott auto, which is super awesome. And Chris, you son of a beach. Ah, infamously the centerpiece of the Yager from the Penguins trade. Um, relentless mocking by most people <laughs> that I associate with at this point. But uh, thank you, Mike, very much for that package. I can't believe you sent me all those autos. That is that is crazy. But thank you so much. Uh, I hope we still can chat by email. I don't think I've heard from you in a while, but I know things are getting crazy, so thank you. Um, this next one's from Spencer, Spencer Hilliard. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Pronounce lots of stuff wrong. Sometimes on purpose. Most of the time, just because I don't know any better. Sometimes I just do it to annoy people. All right, let's dig this out. Sorry, this is a big envelope. It's hard to do on camera. My setup involves me reaching around the sides of my camera, so when I try and do anything in front of me, it usually ends up um, it usually ends up bad. <laughs> Feel free to use in video. I will. <laughs> yes, if you want. Uh, if you want to check out my YouTube, it's Spencer Does Stuffy or just Stuff. Spencer Does Stuff Four. There we go. So check out Spencer's YouTube channel. Hi, great day for hockey cards. My name is Spencer, and I am Dallas, Texas Stars fan. Also, Dallas's black jerseys with the green neon are sick. I love those. Um, sorry, I keep interrupting people. But they wrote it, so is that really interrupting? I don't know. I'm a Dallas, Texas Stars fan. While I don't love the Penguins, you make them seem cool, especially Teddy Hockey. So I sent you some cards you might enjoy. Look, every team can be cool. You can be a... I'm, I'm a diehard Pens fan, but I like watching most teams play. I spent a lot of lockdown watching pretty much every game of the NHL playoffs. And... Even when I couldn't see it live, I would go back and watch the other version. So, you know, be a, be a fan of your team. Be passionate about other teams. Just try and be respectful to other people. Treat them well. Sidney Crosby, of course. This also, a great design from last year's Upper Deck. It's a Double J score rookie card. This really should be... You're like, oh, man, a Yaga rookie card. It's worth like three bucks. <laughs> like, it's score, and they just made so many of them. But uh, one of the all-time greats in the NHL, um, if you're a serious hockey collector, pick up some Yaga cards because they cost nothing. Uh, this is a wrecking ball, Mark Recchi. I used to love when the uh, upper deck cards did the, the paintings as the checklist. I just think that's really cool. I imagine that. Got to pay the artist, and it probably cost a lot of money. That's the checklist for that year. Paul Coffey, speedster, the doctor. Lightning on ice. It was amazing. During lockdown, I also watched the Penguins put out a DVD collection of their best games years back, and I rewatched it and had a lot of the playoff games and just to watch how Paul Coffey controlled the game. Like I'd just forgotten because I hadn't seen him play in so long. Jamie Leach, NHL prospect. There's too many Paul Coffees coming at you from the All-Star team. And we've got Zygmunt Palfey. Ziggy Palfey, short time on the team, and then he retired. It was a very, very turbulent year for the Penguins, it seemed. But uh, I was a fan of him when he was in L.A. Kind of did not like how he, he, he quit in the middle of the season on the Pens. But, you know, whatever. You do you. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody who sent me stuff. Uh, for my American viewers, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, this will probably go up on Thanksgiving Eve. So please be safe out there. Um, take care, and I will see you next time.